its effects are mind-boggling. Users lose all sense of reality and enter another world. Hey guys, this is DJ Slope from Slope's Game Room, and it's time for 100 facts about PlayStation. Today we're going to be looking at 25 facts about PlayStation 1, and to help me with this massive task, I actually reached out to help from fellow podcast buddy, Flinny, from the Amazing Game Culture Creators Podcast. If you want to check out some of the work that we've done together, click the links in the description. And if you want to skip to any of the 25 facts about any of the PlayStations, click the annotations that you see at the bottom of the screen. But that's enough jibber jabber from me, let's start with 25 facts about PlayStation 1. Number 1. Sony PlayStation started its journey taking over the world back in the mid-90s, when it was released in 1994 in Japan and 1995 in North America and Europe, and it sold a whopping 102.49 million units worldwide. Number 2. The best-selling games for the system are Gran Turismo 2 with 9.37 million copies sold, Final Fantasy 7 with 9.72 million copies sold, and in first place, is the original Gran Turismo, with 10.85 million copies sold worldwide. Number 3. The PlayStation's original mascot was... Nope, wrong again. In fact, it was Polygon Man. Polygon Man was seen in advertisements for the system as it was being released. However, he was quickly killed off by E3 1995 by Ken Katarugi, but not because it was a terrible mascot, but because he was not Gourad shaded, but flat shaded. An effect that basically is continuous shading of surfaces represented by polygon meshes, which is one of the PlayStation's main selling points to developers. Don't worry though, the cult of Polygon Man lived on in Super Smash Bros. PlayStation Edition, better known as PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which he appeared as the final boss. Number 4. The PlayStation originally started as an add-on for the Super Nintendo, but through a now infamous meeting at the Consumers Electronics Show in 1991, Nintendo decided that very morning to pair with Philips Electronics to produce games for the upcoming Philips CDI. We all know how that went. Sony, gobsmacked by this, decided to screw you Nintendo, and instead released their own console. Nintendo, you only have yourself to blame. Number 5. The boot up logo you see of the PlayStation logo is rendered in real time. Before they went with the logo that we all know and love, they went through a fair few iterations. Number 6. Ever wonder why the back of the PlayStation 2 discs are black? Is it copy protection? Proprietary software planting? A Spinal Tap reference? Nope. They were given the black colour because it looked cool. So cool in fact that Marilyn Manson used old black PlayStation discs for his release for his latest album. Because black is the colour of your soul. Apparently. Number 7. After the Nintendo deal fell through, Sony attempted to partner with Sega. The two originally worked together to create the Mega CD. Sega Japan's Hayao Nakayama wasn't interested in the collaboration, so he passed. And Sega would go on to release the Sega Saturn early the same year as the PlayStation in an attempt to get a jump start on the sales. And we all know how the rest of that story went. Sega, you only have yourself to blame. Number 8. At the time, the PlayStation was the second major console to offer external memory cards for game saves. The first was the Neo Geo, but between the two, the Neo Geo cards only offered 2K of memory to the PlayStation's 128K, separated into 15 save blocks. That is unless you had one of these ridiculously overpriced things. Also, Sony didn't even release memory cards for the first week the system was on sale, as they didn't think people would need them. Number 9. When creating the PlayStation controller, designer Teo Goto went with a red circle, a blue cross, a pink square, and a green triangle. Not only are they iconic, they serve the purpose. The circle and cross represented the Japanese yes and no, the square represented a piece of paper for menu accessing, and the triangle was designated as a point of view button. Number 10. Sony had a game development kit you could buy called Net Yerosi which allowed users to create their own games and have them published in magazines, but only in Japan and Europe. Number 11. Not everyone loved Crash Bandicoot, the original unofficial mascot of the PlayStation 1 era. Reportedly, Ken Kataragi hated him, calling the game crap. 
believing the game was too kiddie for the grown-up image PlayStation was cultivating. Ultimately, Crash went multi-platform as the deal between Sony and Vivendi Universal ended, and Naughty Dog became a Sony-owned studio in 2001. Number 12. PlayStation did finally get a regular mascot. In Japan, that is. Toro Inoue. A small white cat made his first appearance in the 1999 Japanese-only release Doko Demo Iso, translated as Together Anywhere. Toro now represents the PlayStation Network in Japan these days. Number 13. The most discs ever for a PlayStation game goes to the port of Riven at 5 discs. The game itself is 1.37 gigabytes, which nowadays isn't too big, but for 1998 standards, it was unheard of. Number 14. PlayStation 1 games were still being sold until 2006. That's over a decade of games. The final official game release for the system was obviously a football game. FIFA Soccer 2005 in North America. Number 15. 15 years before Ken Kataragi made it a meme, Sony executive Steve Race famously came out to a crowd at the first E3 and gave the original mic dropper with 299 $299, also known as the price heard around the world. Number 16. One of the craziest controllers officially put out by Sony was the Armored Core Flight Stick, and it's become quite the rarity. However, if you want only the craziest of controllers, then how about this? Bandai's ZXE-D, Legend of Plasmalite, was a game that looked like your average game, where you build robots and you fight them. However, in this version, you can actually build the robot in real life, using the exact same pieces found in the game. You then connect it via the memory card slot and boom, your robot is in the game. Number 17. Due to DA Audio circuitry in early PlayStation models, many high-end audio hobbyists began buying the used consoles for modifying into dedicated CD players. Well, the original SCPH-1001 model that is, as that model had the RCA outputs for video and audio. These were scrapped in later models to save a little bit of money. Number 18. The car combat classic Twisted Metal was created by David Jaff on his way to work at Sony while stuck in traffic. As he sat there he thought how cool it would be if his car had guns and rocket launchers to blow away the traffic. A massive PlayStation gaming genre was born. Number 19. Sony's hip hop pup Parappa the Rapper's name means paper thin in Japanese, which explains the game's unique art style of 2D models in a 3D world. Number 20. Just like all consoles, the PlayStation isn't without its rarities. However, if you truly want the creme de la creme, then from what I can tell, that award would go to the Elemental Gearbot Assassin's case, which at the moment goes for about $1,400 to $1,750. Basically, it was given away as a tournament prize at E3 1998, and it's believed that only 40 of these beauties actually exist. Number 21. The first major Sony released game to be released for the PlayStation was Motor Toon Grand Prix by a very small team called Polys. Never heard of them? Well, the team eventually became Polyphony Digital and created this small franchise. Number 22. Final Fantasy VII was originally planned as a detective story set in New York in 1999 with a main character called Hot-Blooded Detective Joe a detective on the trail of the main characters who had just blown up the city of Midgar. You can still see the initial concept in the game's first few hours with the destruction of Midgar in the general noir vibe. The game was also originally planned for the N64, but we all know how that story went. Number 23. There are quite a few rare versions of the console. We've already discussed the Netneurosis system, but you also have the blue debug console only available to developers, the white video CD PS1 only available in Japan, the 10 million black model released in limited quantities due to the company hitting 10 million PlayStation sales, and then you have the ultra rare Men in Black console. However, if you truly want the rarest PlayStation 1 console ever, then you need to speak with Marcus Pearson as he was sent a one-of-a-kind gold PlayStation 1 as an invitation to attend a VIP event at E3. Number 24. 
there are 2,418 officially released games for the system, and in total, came to 1.49 terabytes. Good luck with that emulation folder. Number 25. Just look at this. Sony actually released this. Obviously only in Japan. Basically what it did was that you connect your phone to your PlayStation so that you can browse the internet on the PlayStation 1. It also had a few free downloadable games and that's not the only crazy add-on. No, no, no. You also have this. An obviously unofficial Game Boy emulator for the system. You plonk this on the back and not surprisingly, it was a bit crap. So there you have it guys, 25 facts about PlayStation 1. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out tomorrow's video, 25 facts about PlayStation 2. And if you're watching this sometime in the future, all the links are clickable below or in the description. But for now, this is DJ Slope signing out and hopefully I'll see you all next time.